Tenth on the list is the Sangsi Diamond. The Sangsi, a pale yellow diamond of 55.23 carats, 11.046 grams, was once reputed to have belonged to the Mughals of antiquity, but it is more likely of Indian origin owing to its cut, which is unusual by Western standards. Several sources state it belonged to Charles the Bold, Duke of Burgundy. After Charles died, in 1495 it passed to his cousin King Manuel I of Portugal. Then it was bought by Nicolas de Harle, Seigneur de Sangsi. Thus the name of the diamond is Sangsi. Many noble family in Europe have taken the diamond as a price possession putting into the crown due to its brilliance. The Sangsi was thus domiciled in France but disappeared during the French Revolution when brigands raided the Garde Mobile, Royal Treasury. As well as the Sangsi, other treasures stolen were the Regent Diamond, and the French Blue Diamond which is known today as the Hope Diamond. The Sangsi next surfaced in 1906 when bought by William Waldorf Astor, 1st Viscount Astor, from famous Russian collector Rudinovsky. The prominent Astor family possessed it for 72 years until the 4th Viscount Astor sold it to the Louvre for $1 million in 1978. The Sangsi now rests in the Apollo Gallery, sharing attention with the likes of the Regent and the Hortensia. As of today the prize of the Sangsi diamond is unknown due to its uniqueness, one of a kind, and rarity. Next on the list is Grauf Pink Diamond. This another authentic diamond with unclear history. What is known is that the ring-mounted pink diamond was sold by Sotheby at 2010 auction in Geneva the famous jeweler and collector Lawrence Grauf for $46.16 million, a record at the time. He named it Grauf Pink. Eighth on the list is the Pink Legacy. This diamond was once part of Oppenheimer's collection, a family collection that turned her beers into the world's largest diamond dealer. Also known as Pink Legacy, the VS1 fancy vivid pink gem was mined in South Africa in 1918. The price of Pink Legacy was estimated between $30 and $50 million. However, Harry Winston Incorporated an American luxury jeweler bought the diamond on auction in Geneva last November 2018 and cashed $50.3 million. The Winston Pink Legacy Diamond weights 18.96 carats. To find a diamond of this size with this color is pretty much unreal, he continues. You may see this color in a pink diamond of less than 1 carat. But this is almost 19 carats and it's as pink as can be. It's unbelievable. Seventh on the list is the Regent Diamond. Another diamond with a thrilling past. Regent Diamond was originally 410 carats, found in the Kola mine in India in 1698. It was acquired by a Thomas Pitt, a governor of English fortress in, brought to London, and cut into a 140.64 cushion diamond. In 1717, the Duke of Orleans, Philippe II acquired the diamond, which was later set into the crown of Louis XIV and King Louis XVI. During the French Revolution in 1792, it was stolen but later recovered until Napoleon Bonaparte got an ownership over a regent and even attached on its sword. After his exile, regent was carried to Austria, but soon returned to the French crown jewels and used by other French kings such as Charles X and King Napoleon III. Today, we can all see regent diamond at the Louvre. It was estimated at $61 million in 2018. Sixth on the list is the Pink Star Diamond. Formerly Noah Stenmetz Pink was mined in 1999 by De Beers in South Africa and weighted 132.5 carats in the rough. After cutting and processing, its final weight is 59.6 carats. 
The pink star was auctioned and sold in 2017 for impressive $71.2 million to Chow Thai Fook Enterprises, a private company based in Hong Kong. Sotheby's is proud to present the magnificent pink star, one of the world's great natural treasures. The largest internally flawless, fancy vivid pink diamond that the Jaya has ever graded, this 59.60 carat diamond is a true masterpiece of nature. Fifth on the list is the Wittelsbach Graf diamond. An antique oval brilliant cut diamond weight 31.06 carats. Since the time when Spanish King Philip IV bought for his daughter Margaret Teresa, the blue jewel had been moving from hand to hand and to crowned heads, testifying the turbulent European history writing its own story. In the middle of its path, the Bavarian dynasty Wittelsbach had it in possession, and that's how it got its name. It was until the Great Depression when the blue diamond was put up for sale at Christie's auction house, but no one bought it. The period after this is a bit uncertain. Until 1964, when the Wittelsbach was acquired by Helmut Horton, as an engagement gift to his wife Heidi. Wittelsbach got a new owner in 2008 in the name of Lawrence Graff, a prominent jeweler in London, who bought it for $23.4 million. He recut the diamond in order to enhance color and clarity. In the process, the Wittelsbach Graf lost 4.45 carat. The final gem has been renamed the Wittelsbach Graf. The historic fancy deep blue diamond is reportedly sold to the Hamari bin Khalifa by the Qatari Sheikh for 80 million US dollars. Fourth on the list is the Centenary Diamond. While some diamonds have long, complicated stories attached to them, the centenary diamond history is a fairly short one. Discovered in the Premium Mine in July of 1986 with the help of an X-ray imaging system, this massive stone weighed 599 carats, 119.8 grams, uncut. It is the third largest diamond to come out of the Premium Mine, and with a grade of D. It is internally and externally flawless. It took 154 days for the team to hand cut the centenary diamond into an egg-shaped gem weighing approximately 500 carats. After three years, the team transformed the stone into one of the largest cut diamonds in the world. In February 1991 the diamond was revealed, and insured for over 100 million dollars. It weighs 273.85 carats and has 247 facets, 164 on the pavilion and crown, and 83 on the girdle. The De Beers Corporation happily loaned the centenary diamond to the Tower of London, where it was put on public display for all people to gaze upon for many years to come. Third on the list is the Hope Diamond. The Hope Diamond is one of the most famous jewels in the world, with ownership records dating back for almost a four centuries. Its much admired rare blue color is due to trace amounts of boron atoms. Weighing 45.52 carats, its exceptional size has revealed new findings about the formation of gemstones. The 45.52 carat diamond is worth $350 million. It is characterized by the blue, eye visible traces of boron element, while under ultraviolet light it reflects the red color due to the presence of phosphorus. Its history began in India eventually it went to France and called La Bleu de France. The diamond remained with the French royal family until it was stolen in 1792 during the French Revolution. Louis XIV and Marie Antoinette, who were beheaded, are often cited as victims of the curse. The diamond was missing for a few decades, and was recut into a smaller gem. There are unconfirmed reports that it belonged to Britain's King George IV, whose estate sold it to pay off his enormous debts. In 1839, the diamond was acquired by Henry Thomas Hope, which is how it got its name. After Hope's death, the diamond passed through the hands of several owners.
Mr. Harry Winston acquire the Hope Diamond in 1947 together with other estate of Ival and Walsh McLean. And in 1958 he donated the diamond in the Museum of Natural History where it is currently on display. Second on the list is the Cullinan One Diamond or famously known as the Star of Africa. Cullinan One was part of the Cullinan Diamond a 3106.75 carat diamond. Cullinan Diamond was not just one of the most expensive diamonds in the world, but also the largest gem quality rough diamond ever found on this planet. It was mined in 1905 in the Premier Mine in South Africa. Cullinan is divided into nine large brush diamonds and many small ones. The largest brush diamond is called the Great Star of Africa, Cullinan 1, and has 530.4 carats. Although not officially confirmed, some sources claim that Cullinan 1 diamonds is worth $400 million today. Along with the second largest, the Cullinan 2, are kept within the Crown Jewels at the Tower of London. Number 1 on the list the Queen Or. The diamond is an oval 109 carat diamond with a weight of 21.6 grams. It's the main diamond of the British Crown Jewels, known from the Crown. The stone is literally priceless and can therefore not be insured. Currently, the Queen Or is exhibited in the Tower of London together with the other Crown Jewels of Great Britain. During the biggest part of its long history, the Queen Or was the biggest diamond in the world. To this day, it is the most expensive diamond in the world. The Queen Or is a diamond with a fascinating history and an impressive journey. <laughs>